We cannot continue to be ruled like this. Being ruled by sick people, by mad people, by liars and thieves and criminals. This is never needed in this country. Even in this court, they use uh, colonial pinnacles, colonial laws. That is why I cannot get justice in a court of law. I'm ready to die for justice. I'm ready to die for quality. We cannot continue living as slaves in our own country. Gentry with others from before court recruited disturbance in a manner likely to cause a breach of peace by yelling, shouting, and attempt to disrupt the photo shooting session by the cabinet secretary, national treasury, and economic planning and his delegates. Is it true or not true? Julius, is it true or not true? Okay, I don't know to be to my concerns. Is it true or not true? You'll be given time. It's true. And as I said, I don't want to betray my concerns. I'm ready to, to do anything to see change in this country. I'm ready to die for freedom. I'm ready to die for justice. I'm ready to die for equality. So you cannot continue living as slaves in our own country, in the land of our fathers, the land where our fathers bled and died to free this nation from the shackles of colonialism. Colonialism never really ended in this country. Even in this court, they use uh, colonial pinnacles, colonial laws. That is why I cannot get justice in a court of law. I want to speak myself. Uh, I, I realize that there comes an existential moment in time yes, when uh, you must speak for yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. I am tired, I'm so sick and tired of living as a slave in my own country. And I'll say this a lot of times, many, many times, and I'm going to do so many things, so many actions to bring change into this country. You cannot continue to be ruled like this. Being ruled by sick people, by mad people, by liars and thieves and criminals. These are the people who are in power in Kenya, in Africa. That is the, 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 the situation we are living in. That is kind of life we are living in. That's why people are dying and nobody cares. People are poor, people are suffering, nobody cares. So I don't know what's the role of the government. I don't know. I want to know today what's the role of the government. To protect the people or to kill the people or to, to make the people suffer. I, I think we have failed our people. The government has failed, everybody has failed. We have also failed ourselves. I, I, I don't know, my concerns will not allow me to keep silent. And at the same time, at any moment. I don't know whether this is going to come up anywhere, but we must have this debate. We must have, we must have this conversation. We cannot continue living in fear. I see a lot of fear in this country. A lot of fear in the courts. Just yesterday we saw a magistrate who was shot, shot by a police officer. I, I, I want to speak my dear friends. I want to speak because uh, when you uh, try to tell me to keep silent, uh, uh, my heart is burning. You know, it's burning because of this country. Because uh, for 60 years we have been living like uh, we are not human beings, like we are half human beings. We are considered like children of a lesser God. Now, this cannot continue. It cannot continue in any way. We are ruled by a minority that does not care for the interests of the majority. Politicians are lies and thieves. And they have stolen our freedom, they have stolen our minds, they have stolen our land, they have stolen our future. Politicians are established in lies and failed promises. We are victims of lies and failed promises, deferred hopes and blasted dreams for 60 years. I don't know what will happen. I don't know whether you're going to, say, to sentence me. I'm ready to be sentenced for a hundred years, but I'm going to keep speaking the truth until the day I, I leave this world. We cannot continue living like this. My dear friends, we must resist. Resistance is the only way for this country, for Africa. People are dying everywhere. Even in Congo, people are suffering and uh, we are silent. I don't know. We have failed as human beings. We have completely failed as human beings. We are on a test as human beings. I don't know why we call ourselves Christians. I don't know why we call ourselves educated people, civilized people. We are not. We are not civilized at all. We are stupid. And this stupidity is taking a toll on this country. Too much toll. It's so bad. It's too bad. It's too bad. We cannot continue living like this. The government must get out of the opposite. But on its behalf, your honor, 